I would like to share some secrets with you that I've learned over the centuries about how to tune tom-toms. First thing is what kind of heads do you use? Well, you can really use just about anything. I've used Remo since time immemorial. Well, this is a 1963 Sonor Beechwood tom-tom. A good mule for this topic because being so old, I refinished the outside of it, but I haven't touched the bearing edges yet. The bearing edges are a little wavy, they're worn. There's uh, some slight delamination in one spot. And yet it sounds fantastic. It's a really, really nice sounding drum. The whole set of these sound really nice. Um, I use Emperor's, clear Emperor's top and bottom. Emperor, Emperor. I tune the top and the bottom heads the same. They almost always end up exactly the same. I do not tune them to a specific pitch. I don't use any sort of tension measuring devices. I just use my ears and I get raves from sound men. So let's compare the top and the bottom. And you can hear the top is a little bit looser, slightly lower pitch. I'm going to take this head off. And they're not real reliable. And still, this concept is called for most of my gigs. They are proven. They've been around. They've been out here. I'm going to fast forward this part, so if you want to slow down, I'll hear what I'm saying. If you don't, I will take no offense. That's what a single-headed tom sounds like. As you can see, that bearing edge, she's tired. Been around a long time. Okay, let's put the head back on. I like to align the badges on the heads. These are undersized shells, so you want to make sure that the head is centered. Um, some drums, sonors have Undersized shells. Um, I've run into some Premier drums that have undersized shells. They sounded really, really nice. I was very impressed. Like I said, these gloves. I don't know how long these drums last. I will probably. Buy new gloves, replace the gloves, because I'll Bearing gadgets. So you run the tension rods down. Wiggle the hoop back and forth. Put your fingers under there. Check. Make sure everything is centered. And you start running them down with your fingers. The goal is to try and get them tensioned evenly. Beautiful. Okay, let's start creating some magic here and some tone. Another thing you can do is you can press on the middle before it's tensioned and you can see where it's wrinkling. And it's not wrinkling here, so we won't worry about this one just yet. You can, while you hold your finger on it, you can, if you've got really bad lugs and every one of them feels different, you can get this process started by ironing out the wrinkles, like so. You might actually get a tone here. You can hear that one much higher. So I'm going to continue tightening these five. Ugh, these lugs get worse every time. Might be witnessing the last time I ever tune this drum. Okay, 
So these four need to be tightened. You can hear the pitch go up right there. So these two will continue with these four. See how close we're getting to the top. Okay, real close. So loosen these two As you can hear the top is just slightly higher pitch so let's just just barely That sounds good. I want to grab a stick, hit this thing. This is obviously with no EQ. This is with potato cam. You can imagine what it'll sound like mic'd up. That's a very, very nice sound to my ear. Now, if you're not looking for a lot of attack, that is the sound of the stick hitting the head, and a lot of sustain, then this may not be the method you want. Um, the deader the sound you're after, uh, the less critical anything is, really. I mean, you can take this drum and put a bunch of uh, muffling, damping material, fill it with styrofoam, whatever, and, and just kill the sustain. Um, but as it is right now, that's a really, really nice sounding drum. Real clean, it'll EQ easily. Your sound men will love you. And bear in mind, that this might all change when you mount it. And you might find that you mount the drum to the tom holder and the drum goes dead. And then you're faced with options. You can either try a suspension mount, which may or may not work, or you can just leave it mounted in place and tune it to a different pitch. And that's why I don't recommend tuning it to a specific pitch.